There's so much drama on the interwebs. So much drama, people being cheated by their loved ones, scammed by their friend. I wonder if it's okay to post on the online your dirty laundry. Whole interweb see you. Not just in the court like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. But also just on your Instagram. Is it okay? Welcome back to another episode of Deep Talk. All right. Happy Monday. All right. All right. And uh, a salutations to all who are joining us for the first time. Welcome to the Tabletop <laughs> podcast. Picking it off with some really bad grammar in English right yeah, now. Yeah, we try our best to just really communicate oh, with our audience. Uh, what? Ming. At what level? Who is this oh. audience we're talking to? <laughs> Bradley? Oh, sorry. Oh, oh welcome shit. back. We've got a brand new show. Ming, tell us a bit it's more. It's called Red Flags. About because Red Flags. That's the only oh, place yeah. that we should be airing the laundry. Are you not monitoring? Laundry. You're not. Nope, zero. Did, did not realize I have no earphones today. That's if crazy. you want to realize it, come and uh, take a look on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, but but red what is, is red flags, Ming Han? Uh, basically, it's been know, one year in the making. It's been too many, too many longs in the too many years. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's just I think I've gotten a lot of stuff since we started doing family stuff about people sharing their relationship problems. And you know, on Discord as well, there was a whole time where uh, there was there's this channel called Heart No Heart and Heart to Heart, right? And there's so many, you know people's relationships there and the stories the stories that I've heard guys you will not believe my inbox so I thought uh, why not we just compile this and do anonymously and we should share with each other because people think they're alone but no they're not they're not everyone has dirty laundry so why don't I anonymously address Turn the it towel. together speaking <laughs> of dirty laundry though oh today episode man uh, in yeah, yeah, so I know this one purposely on Jeremy put this on purpose have you been keeping up with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have you Yes, I, I watched like, yesterday until like two a.m. Right now, yeah. Like the the yes. right now, what is the current update? So as of uh, today, Wednesday, eighteen of May, or uh, Tuesday when I watched it, yeah. uh, they were doing cross examination on her. Yes, so it's, it's like cross fit, but no. <laughs> so it's basically just like okay. examining her statements on her end because Johnny Depp mm. already done his done already one. Yep. Yeah. And so, then he got one heck of a team. His lawyers. The but hey, wow. But hey, what we'll find out. Uh, in the in the coming days, you yeah. know, as we hear from Amber Heard's side, right? You know, it's she's not going well. She stormed out of the courtroom. Oh, the latest one, latest one. She stormed out of the courtroom yesterday. No, no, be- a just few days recently, ago. the last the last hearing. That means because an hour, a few hours ago. Uh, I mean, I don't <laughs> why, know why? right now. I didn't, I didn't catch that because Johnny has a really good lawyer on the side. Uh, this woman lawyer, I, I don't know her name. Basquez, yeah, yeah. Basquez girl, and she is just not having any of it. She's so good. She She's speaks to Amber like a child. Not having no, but any how come of it? Amber stormed out? I, I didn't think know about she just got just too angry and just you know, people ah, like the police. Means she knows she's Camille, in trouble. Uh, the police woman Camille had to go Vasquez. out and ask her to come back, but that's not a good look. That's not a good look. Uh, I'm not taking any sides. I'm just watching because I really want to see Pirates of Caribbean again. Uh, what are your thoughts though? Do you, do you follow it at all? Do you care? I do. I do. I do. Uh, do, do you care, Jeremy? Uh, Enough? I. I don't care about it that much, but of course the memes were quite good. The yeah. memes are great. I mean, if you notice the one where where uh, you know they they put like the funny music behind Johnny Depp's like uh, interview, and yeah. it's like, oh, is it another time for a objection? Objection or a hearsay? Hearsay, yeah. <laughs> I think I've learned the most words that I've learned throughout this whole trial is objection, hearsay, hearsay. <laughs> and all this going on. Right, I just want to ask, what happened to the war in Ukraine? Huh? It's still going on. But no one seems to be talking about it now, right? It's, it's not as important as Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Oh, truly just... Yeah. Just a sign of the litmus test of our generation. The Good recent course. update was McDonald's uh, pulled out completely from Russia. Come on, McDonald's. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Then they got all the rip-off McDonald's now and the rip-off KFC, right? Was I don't know called? about the that. The Russian versions I, of it. I just uh, know that, you know... No, because in, the brand pulled out, but they still have all their stock there. So oh, like, they got to do something with the food. Oh, that's genius. So it's not... It's not Ronald McDonald on the side anymore. It's some it's Russian Mark, dude. McDonald. That's, that's just <laughs> honest. Let's not make fun sorry. of that. It's not funny. Uh, okay, it's not. okay. Let's go. Let's okay, go. Today's topic. So today we're talking about uh, just in the oh, same wow. vein of how it's not comfortable. It's Nobody right. enjoys it. You, you're watching Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, right? Right. And that is dirty laundry at to its highest degree. Professional level. Oh, wow. Oh, Graham, just, thanks. Just Graham pulling the styrofoam boards. Styrofoam. Let's right, just Graham. go for it. You know, yeah. just... Yeah. <laughs> just and Thanks, now, Graham. great, yeah. yeah. But dirty laundry is a, a very interesting way of uh, 
you, you, it's a label that we put on how people just literally and share with people. The damn problems. I, Wait, is it personal problems? The dirty laundry is personal problems. Everything. Like everything. If uh, I don't like you today, I'm just going to put up uh, my boss sucks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, like, person to so person dirty problems. laundry <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. is the grandfather of uh, cancelling people. Is is the right. is the is the picker is the precursor. Charmander is Charmander the before precursor. you become Charizard, right? right? So if Charizard is cancel culture and you got cancelled, the precursor is the start of the airing of the dirty laundry. Wow, dirty laundry. That's very good. Nice the deep seeds. Put. Yeah, the it's, seeds that bloom into the cancel cancel flower. Oh, oh yeah. Truly, right, right. Truly. Dirty laundry sows the seeds. Oh good wow, Lord. wow, wow, wow. Uh, we wow, we wow. definitely got a friend, the the one that indirectly directly talks about people. You know, on the on their Instagram, Instagram? La, on their Instagram stories, uh. Uh, Do you do you have friends like this? So I, okay, why are you just I nodding? Think, I think <laughs> <laughs> I think it's quite interesting because, like, you know, I feel like that's why the Instagram close friends function exists. Okay, okay. Don't bluff oh. right now, right? All of y'all, all of your coochie mamas listening to this, you guys have an inner circle of close friends who are not exactly your close friends, but people you feel validated by having in your close friend circle and then you're like, oh, you, you can know this about me, right? Nope. And then you post up things about your own life that you, it's mostly complaints uh, and, and bitching about other people and then those close friends see it and I'm like, mm, yeah, this one, this one tease, your- yeah, tease, yeah, right? Actually, the, the origin of it is Snapchat. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Snapchat was so private, right? You would only send to a select group of people your, yeah. your like, yeah. you wouldn't add anybody on Snapchat one. Instagram existed, right? But yeah, yeah. you just added people on Snapchat and right. that is your private inner life. circle. Uh, yeah. Is this inner circle of yours where these laundries are at? I don't, personally not mine, but I know right. a lot of people who use the close friends function to I, right. complain about their significant I, other. Oh, To I, complain I, I, about I, their work, I, their I, parents, I, I, yeah, their yeah. situation in life. Private Twitters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Private Instagram. Twitter. So there's a lot of it. Um, so many avenues. So many avenues. I, I'll, just, I'll just air my laundry first. I've never used the close friend function. Whenever I ex- whenever you see something on my close friends and you're my close friend, just know that I accidentally posted it there. <laughs> and I was meaning to do a public story. Okay. I actually don't That's use it. very nice to know. But I have realized that more often than not, close friends on Instagram is really tea. It's, Are you on yeah, people's yeah, close yeah. friends? Yeah, I'm on some few lists and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> oh. I'm on some surprising close friends oh. list, man. Like I don't even regard this person as a close friend. I, I'm I, like, I feel, why do I see the green Do circle? I feel closer as a friend when I read this? I'm just I feel do like, feel, I do feel. I feel like I'm a confidant I feel like point. I feel like you want to bitch to me. That's why you put me inside your close friends list. True, true, Whether true, or not true, I true, partake true. of the bitchery. <laughs> you ever got a friend who forgot? <laughs> you, <laughs> ever for, you got a friend that forgot that someone's on the close friend list. And then they post about it. And then they post about it. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. That's quite funny. Oh, moving forward though. But uh, okay, no. What, what, sort of, uh, what sort of issues do you feel that are uh, the most commonly aired out uh, when it comes to dirty laundry? Like Just unnecessary unhappiness. It's true. It's like the most petty unhappiness. Let's start with... Uh, what? Your name one just need a, oh, like, a topic. <laughs> no, no, person. I get real specific, real fast. I have no board. I don't bother you. Maybe you wanna say it and then we will beep it out. Right, right. Like lending money. Oh, lending oh yeah, money. yeah, yeah. Not happy. Why you take my money? Why? Why you take my money and never turn back? And then you can go buy these kind of things. Then why they don't just approach the person? I don't know. Actually, I, no. I feel like money. I don't money, know. I feel like money people will approach and then they'll just publicly shame that person. And then the best of all, are people who break up already but say break up right. And then like the same day got boyfriend and girlfriend on the story. Huh? Okay, wait. Uh, who's this? I need to know. Unfollow. <laughs> unfollow I'll get added to the close friend. I saw the young uns. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I, okay. Do you feel that there's a difference between public shaming, calling out, cancel culture and dirty laundry airing? I feel like dirty laundry is the intention. La. The intention of cancel culture is the same thing. Mm-hmm. You, want, you do it with the intention of dirtying someone. Like you air the dirt out of your laundry to be on their laundry, right? I, I, I don't know lah. I, I. <laughs> we had a friend. Uh, you know what? Let's tell some stories. Oh, we had a friend once who, uh, sorry, this. who publicly, oh shit, Instagrammed, um, oh, their partner leaving a mess around the house, and it was close-ups of the most awkward places. It was like close-ups in the toilet, huh? close-ups in the kitchen. Who's this? It's eh? Louis. Oh, 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 we have oh. it out. Yeah, we have it out. And then, and then, but here's the interesting part, right? Like that person, like was was doing a lot of stories and saying and just smashing the partner, saying that yeah, this, this guy's guy slash girl is useless. 
Um, this guy slash girl is, you know, always say that they yeah, would change, that's but rough. they don't that's, change. That's rough. Yep. And then yep. Ming Han message the person and be like, hey, you might want to take that down. Yeah. What compelled you to... Uh, because like, what's the goal? Very, I think it was very good that you did that though. But what's the goal? Like okay. you chose this partner in your life. It's true. It just reflects really poorly <laughs> on your true. own choices. It's true. Right? Like, I don't get it. It's like, oh my <laughs> gosh. It's like, um, I, uh, what's, the, what's the equivalent? You crash your car, right? Then you complain the car spoil. Like that's your that's your driving. You know, you wouldn't do that, but you do that to another partner who's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so. just the decency of it, lah. You mean like oh. is the goal public humiliation in hopes that something would change? Yeah. And it's even more if you are like you took a further, like it's either you're engaged or married to the person. It's hard, man. Dating whatever, lah, complain about whoever you're dating, right? But if you're married to the person and then you're bitching about your partner like that, I'm like Okay, you might want to just take a tube pill. I think it was very nice of you to try to... I don't know if the word salvage is the correct one here, but it was quite nice of you to just remind the person, hey, you yeah. don't need to do this. Yeah, some... You know, I, I, I... In general, I'm a very passive person. Yes. I really feel that your choice is your choice. Mm. And I rather like... Uh, I rather like... You know what? I also had my, my, my time in life to choose my own things. Yeah. But there are some lines. There are just some lines that... The, the public repercussion of it... And somehow if you have like, sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to be as vague as possible. Okay. If you have people connected to your life that yes. will be affected by that story, lagi I will say something like, I yeah. can't, I can't. It's just like, I, here's, here's it's my, not worth it. Is, here's my question about the whole thing, right? Okay. Does everything need to be shared online? Oh. Right? Especially when it comes to conversations that are a little bit harder to have. But, but I like, feel like I'm a bitch as well. Okay, why? Because I feel like, if you're the kind of person, right, who take every single two seconds of your, your lovey-dovey puppy dog life, I'm also the kind of bitch who will say like, oh, you're so nice, huh? you better share your fighting as well. I, I'm that kind of person. Like, I feel like you got to balance the weight. you know. I, I don't I know. know. Ah, man. But, but no, that's just is being a bitch. unnecessary. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not. It's so unnecessary. Like, like, like unnecessary. what is stopping, like, okay, thought process wise, why would you do the public shaming route yeah, rather why? than just going what to the person? What problem does it solve? Yeah, if what, anything, what it creates more animosity against you. Yeah, you get you have the effort to organize your thoughts into a story. Yeah, you actually wrote it down. You created content for it. You wrote it down. That's whack. But you didn't approach. Jeremy, Jeremy. why would you publicly shame a person? I only think uh, that it's hard to say because there are so many factors that can. Like, you know, there's a lot of reasons why people want to bring awareness to something. Sure. Maybe to prevent someone else like from being scammed. Like to save the pandas lah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a great way it's, to bring awareness, so, right? There's a very gray area of like whether or not something is uh, is counted as you should bring awareness. But there are definitely things that like, but you know, domestic issues that oh, does yeah. not need to be aired out in public. I, I, I do need to ask anyone who's this thing. Like, what? I'm, I, and y'all don't act like sins, okay? I'm very sure some of y'all are huh? going. Why would you need to do that? I really need to know. Is it like, it's 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 honestly right? You gotta admit, it's less about that person. It really, and it's, yeah. it's really more about you airing your your thoughts and getting you know support for your point of view. I don't know. I've I've personally lived through the blogging era where people oh yo, I feel like if Jeremy was in the era, you just you just love the tea, man. People dedicate articles, dude. Yeah, yeah they last time dedicate. The art of subtle, indirect flaming, you know. I feel, like, I feel like he'll beat people up real fast. That's a skill like, set, fast. you know, really. I, I don't know lah. Why, why you guys listening, why would you dedicate the time and effort to indirectly make the problem worse com- instead of using the energy to address the person directly? Some people will see it like in a few ways, right? Some people want to say like, it's to let the public be the judge. You know, but the public don't, is, don't, the don't public care. Gonna do what? Yeah. And, and so yeah, so but that's the mentality, uh, right? You want people to either give you reassurance that, but yeah, you are you are in the that, right. Isn't that such a horrible fallacy? Because like, the public have no context. The public will only know your it's dirty true. laundry, it's right? True. True. And your dirty laundry is biased to your emotions, and the fact that you air dirty laundry kind of shows the person you are. So like, would I be on your side? Would would you trust a friend? that as your deepest, darkest secrets between both of you. Would you... Would you trust a friend who I like, probably, so, so like, you know, I don't, I'm not happy about you. I'm just going to, 
I'm just going to talk about your personal, your, your, your hairy anus or something like that oh. online. Oh, now I'm interested. Okay, so I don't know. I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Graham, would you trust a friend who would air your dirty secrets online? Actually, that's a very good question. No. I don't think no. I would. So why would, and why do people so ni- nicely trust people who air dirty laundry online? Wow, that's a very I don't know. thought. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I, what's your experience with this? Okay, so I know a lot of people who feel um, and this is something I respect because it's your space, right? On socials. Uh, you can do whatever the F you want. That's not the topic of today. The topic is like, what's, like how does it benefit, right? Or what do we feel benefit? about it? Okay, realistically, what I feel about it is that it's, it, it, it doesn't help anybody. Uh, um, if there's an issue, I think maybe we were raised to approach the issue I think good to talk say, through say. it. Yeah, right? Because I, like, 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 the question was like, if you really if you really like wanted to fix something, right? Like you you, would, fix you it. would go to the root of the problem. La. Like why were you going to tell everybody? Like mm. if your house got snake, right? Right. You tell everybody my house was snake. Is it a Mahatma Gandhi problem? That level, you know, where he need to air, he do public things to, to talk about it. Is it like a Malcolm X level or like, like Martin will, Luther King? Will telling people about the snake in my house make the snake go away? Yeah. Yeah. There are certain times like, you know, where this, Three people that I just mentioned, public awareness is needed. Yes. But your own dirty laundry, like your own one, about your own partner. Between people, like uh, very in- personal yeah, people yeah, yeah, in your yeah. life. Like, okay, okay. I don't know if it's just, I feel like I, it's not. I need to ask like, Jeremy. Okay. Jerem- Jeremy. Is there any reasons you believe like, that you need to add dirty laundry? Or Between you two people? individuals, yeah. unless it's very criminal, right? Like, I mean, we do have like some sexual abuse allegations, those kind of parts. Those are things maybe bring, bring oh, awareness. Step okay. But that's not dirty laundry. That's like stepping up to, you know, to, to mm, talk okay. about In that sense, then it's fine. Right? But yeah. so where do we draw the line? If my partner is like, you know, has the smelliest shits and then I post up on Instagram saying, I know oh the man, her shit damn seven smelly. <laughs> I know the line. Okay, the line is basically right. I honestly think lah, if the person action is physically harming or endangering you or someone else, that's not dirty laundry. The physical smell. That is <laughs> just- effing me. <laughs> let's, just, let's just be honest. That's not harm at yeah, all. Yeah, it's la. not. That's just preference. Okay. Some people like I, the smell. I, I feel like dirty laundry be, like, extends beyond that, right? So, so like my, my question is, there is a trend. It's not a trend. It is a trend. Of people What's a trend? who really enjoy- so complaining is one thing. Like the right, complaining right. about your work and your life and you know, just like how you- yeah, Some people build careers on it. Sorry. Yeah, some people really do. I just saw someone tweet the other day that they want to end it all just because they have a bad day. Okay. And that really hurt me because I feel like you can't say that. Okay. Because there are people who really do, you know? And I, I don't know, I just felt that was quite out of place. But that's not the point. The point I was going to go to <laughs> sorry. is dirty laundry, right? At a point where it's on your own self. You like, air your own dirty laundry? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, what yeah. is that? <laughs> Why do people record themselves crying and then post it consciously? They want the pity. You see, so that's my, that's, that's the segue, right? Because they want someone to talk to they them They want the it. pity. Is that the same? Sorry lah, I, I gotta be honest. Oh, like, shit. What, what is the use? People are gonna say like, oh, so I can remind my future self to do better. No, that's a diary lah, bitch. Oh, like, why would you do that's it? Really good. That's pretty why good. would you? Why <laughs> would you? Okay, let's just be honest, okay? Yeah, let's yeah, just, yeah. The hard truth oh, about shit. social media oh, is anything when done you to hold me- your phone like that. It's, it's real, it's real. Anything done to media on social media is for social uh, sociability. Mm. Alright? If you wanted to remind your damn self, you take the phone, keep yeah. it in your photo album. Yeah, why you need to upload? Why you need to upload? Or so that I can get reminded. No. No, Google Photos has that function. Yeah. So <laughs> One that, year ago, you, you sent a reminder. You sent yeah. a reminder to show you again. So you know? that's my question, right? Because I feel a lot of these things, right? People do because they want a response, because they want a reaction. They want validation. They want validation, that's right? That, yeah. So if I'm going to post a picture of myself crying, mm. I want people to ask me, are you okay? Right? Are you okay? Yeah. Uh. That's, Sorry, that's one, right? right now. I can't. Sorry. Oh, so, I can't. Is I that can't. the same with the dirty laundry part? If, if Jeremy and I I've were seen dating. the best people. Sorry, I'm just like on my, on my own right now. I've seen the best of the best people record their damn selves crying. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? It's, can, can the record selves to, people okay, crying? So, so this one I have to ask, right? Because they post it up and then in the caption it says, 
I want to be real with you guys. Yeah. Sorry. No. What? I do. Let's get real. Let's get Let's- real. Oh, I'm sweating. It's there, like really. why? Like no, if all you right. want to be like realistically, all right, all right. which part of you? <sighs> all right, go somebody like I'm going. Let crying. me let me clear the air. You're not fake if you're not. Crying. I'm all for self empowerment. Yes, I'm all for having confidence, self image. You do you. You got it. You flaunt it. Right. So we live in the about? era. We live in the. We live in the era of like you work on your body. You want to show it. It's become a common thing. Like okay, you do you. It's your body. But when we're talking about emotions, right? People are starting to rationalize. Oh, if I'm going to share my happy times, I share my sad times. I just be the bitch who say that as well. <laughs> but I cannot understand the crying one. The crying one, like yes, the 1990s version of it is the emo. Like they put the black lining and that kind of thing. Yeah, the black eyeliner and everything. But please help me rationalize why, in your sadness, you take the effort to take yeah, out your true. phone, find the light on the camera, press record, and then choose a filter and just go like. Record. <laughs> <laughs> like the effort. I cannot. I, I cannot. Jeremy, I feel like you have something to say about this. Have you done it before? You are you a crying bitch? Oh no no. No, no. I've not. Okay, I only okay. taken it myself crying when I was watching a Korean drama. Okay, and I was that was like, okay. That's okay, funny. It's not funny. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my it's a, it was a great drama. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I've never watch, done yeah, it yeah, out yeah, of yeah. sadness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, it's a private thing, I feel. It's a private thing. It's it's a I mean like I'm all for guys and girls crying. Anyone can cry. I love crying. No, no, okay. I, I need to err on the side of some 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 care. So I know there are people also who record themselves at funerals of loved ones, all this kind of thing. Again, time and place, lah, guys. Like, like um, I feel so torn because if someone passes away, I'm so I feel for you. I'm I feel sorry for you. Yeah, yeah. Then the next story is oh, fin- funeral fit. Hey, sorry. <laughs> That's not yeah, but I think there's a there's a time and place for yeah, everything. Yeah, definitely. Is. And so, I think if you want to cry, yeah, just do it in your own you, space. That is the the rationale is there's no rationale. There's no rationale. <laughs> and for everyone who thinks and who thinks that I'm just half assing this on my ass, no, no, no. This is this is just social studies. I understand that there's a way that people want to deal with the grief. Yeah. Or deal with sadness. And but maybe need, some people they need do to, it yeah, through cloud. They need to accept the fact that there's also wrong ways to deal with it. Which is this one. This. Hi guys. Yeah. Let's let's talk about the psychology behind that because I feel like validation. Yeah, correct, correct. So uh. so maybe okay, walk with me on this Whoa. one. Huh? Walk with me on this one. I'm sad, I'm crying. I make it a piece of content. It goes up. Yeah. It blows up. Right? Obviously. Obviously because it's like, emotion. you know, make a correct. Cries. So <laughs> so right, the endorphins I get from seeing that validation yeah, yeah, yeah. will then link itself to my sadness. Yeah. And I start to capitalize and I start drawing Oof, equations. Being sad is good. Correct. Yeah. And then you see the spiral because then I start tweeting, I start making content that life sucks. Yeah. It makes me want to cry every day. Only that for one reason. Prophecy. Because I want to be seen and validated. Suddenly you're depressed. And you're like, why? No classical conditioning. The, the whole concept of classical conditioning. Wow. Like the dog. The, it's like the, pet, bell, the bell with dogs, the powers dog. Basically, it's like basic mammals, right? or mammal functions. You do a behavior, you get rewarded, it's more likely you will repeat the behavior again. Yeah. And if you do it enough times, your body gets so sensitized or so accustomed to that stimulus that rewards you, it already pre-preps your whole behavior to it. Wow. So like, crying, get likes. Mm, must be good. You don't say it to yourself, but it's like- Yeah, you don't the say subconscious. it. It's yeah, not yeah. conscious like, I love it. You know, no, no, no. But- uh, but you feel good. You're setting up yourself for a really long yeah. roller coaster so, ride. So what I just said, right, is I feel oh. the reason why a lot of people are so comfortable with sharing their grief, sharing the dirty laundry, dirty laundry, complaining, right? Because at its core, right, if I had to take away everything, if I take away the clout, the likes, the the the, the reactions, right, at the end of the day, right, people want to be asked, "Are you okay?" People and want yeah. a conversation. La, be nice right. la. like people don't know how to ask people don't know because don't like, know how to ask to ask people yeah 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 like, like Pai say right yeah. so so if if I show people that I'm hurting they're gonna rush to me and ask me if I'm okay yeah right which is what some people need realistically but that's where we are at don't know how to express yep 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 so but is it wrong I don't think it's wrong not I the think right the either, w- right? yeah correct but it's not correct uh, because what you're doing to yourself is you're you're you're, you're really you're setting yourself up 
to be in a cycle of very unhealthy sort of like emotional responses. You are conditioning yourself to think because right, the crazy part about Instagram, I don't know if you realize, uh, there's only a like button. Oh. There's only a like. There's I mean, so, so yeah, no, comments, but nobody... Yeah. No matter no what right, you do, so. right, pe- someone will like your action. This is the scary part, right? There's only a yes. There's only a yes. There's mm. only a yes. Mm. There's there's rarely la, and nobody on Instagram is okay, God, sorry la. There are some lifeless people who love to tell you down on Instagram, like who talk 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 down to you. But the scary part about like airing dirty laundry, the reasons, like they I honestly believe there's no reason to air dirty laundry on Instagram. Alright? There is a reason to be aware or to create awareness about a social problem or a social injustice, which I 100% agree with. But the, the thing about airing dirty laundry is that you will only do it to tear someone down, to put yourself above somebody else because you will only be telling the story from a perspective that yep. suits you. They're, they're wow. Sh- they're, I mean, like what? Show me somebody who tells a dirty laundry but it's like, I'm the one that wrote that fault. No such thing. Right. Like what's, what's Most of the time is to to insinuate the other person. In, correct. There's come on la, even if you want to say like yeah la, sure, one out of ten people. There's only one out of ten people, not one out of hundred people, right? And which literally leads to the backside, how can we better resolve a conflict? Yeah. I the whole premise of dirty laundry or uh, the whole premise about talking crap about someone online, which I don't understand, is some people actually okay. Some people actually will say like, oh, because I have no other way to talk about it. Oh, because I got I don't know how to talk to a person. So so what? You you are expecting the dirty laundry to make it easier to talk to a person? It's gonna make I, it worse. Yeah, I I I think those are like simple excuses we give ourselves to run away from what actually needs to be done. The right thing is the hard thing, lah, basically. Oh, one more time for the children in the back. I might have a soft heart, but I got a big Eh? What? Eh? Heart oh wait, sorry, I got it wrong. The heart <laughs> The, the right thing might always be the difficult thing to do. Yeah. Right? Especially this. Because dirty laundry is easy. Don't put, don't put name la. Don't do this Put you la. in a good light, right? Because you're victimizing yourself. Yeah. I mean, you victimize yourself. You tell a bias story. Unfortunately, mm. sorry is a bias story. You give people the context of you being the victim. I mean, is that a conflict resolution? Or is that trying to garner bias to, your, to yourself? I don't yeah. know la. Is there a better... Resolve, yeah, it's called. There is, I mean, there is a actually, actually, I. It's funny when we talk about resolution, uh, for the conflict or like Aish. how you can resolve it. It's funny because people are already doing it. The fact that you're documenting what you feel about yeah. it, you're documenting how you think it should be resolved. That's one step, but you're just putting it to the wrong place. Take everything you wrote, and then look at the person who is grieving you, and read, and then just give it to that person. That's like step number one. That you've already done it. You're just putting it in the wrong space. Yeah, I really don't get it. And then, like, because even better right now, TikTok is the best. Oh. Dirty Laundry blows up on TikTok. I need to start a, even better. I need to start a TikTok account and, that just says Dirty Laundry. <laughs> and the best part is, right, sometimes the person they talk about find the, find the TikTok. And then? Because it goes so viral. And then say. And then find, oh, find the comments. Oh. I, wow, <laughs> I love it. I've seen, I've seen a few, a few like, this girl talk about another girl and the girl show up in the comments at WTF Rachel, why are you oh, doing this? Shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, really. It's, it, it's just ridiculous. I, like, I, I have a friend um, who recently sat down with a couple of other friends to resolve a conflict. Okay. Uh, and it was a kind names. of like, what names are? Right now, <laughs> just bleep um, everything out. <laughs> Graham <laughs> and then two other people. <laughs> Graham's girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Like Gardenia <laughs> like Ribena. Ribena. Yeah. So what I like about this story was that um, like, bo- like there's four of them and they all sat down at a table. You know, they sat down in the living room there's a table in the middle. Uh, there was ice beverages being served. Ooh. All right? It was just basically just simple simple water, ice and some sun kiss or something. Right? Oh, very <laughs> at the end of the night, right? Or not even at the end of the night. No one maybe about 30 minutes in, right? The condensation was leaking out onto the table. The water and the drink separated into ice water and then the quarter. And no one said anything because Gr- everyone was just so not ready to talk about conflict. Then Graham started. <laughs> and then everyone started crying. <laughs> Is this real? It's real. Wait, but, but what I like wait, about that. I'm so confused now. It's real. It's effing real. When was this? Where or when? When was this? A couple of weeks ago. What was this situation? It's, it's a stupid, stupid kids. I don't think we can put that in. But no, the, the, the point of the story <laughs> I just told. Okay. The point of the story I just told is, is, is that of uh. active steps. Like, 
Dirty laundry. There was actually dirty laundry involved. Like, you know, okay. one party was like, oh, this person wronged me by doing this. Okay, okay, right? okay, okay. Usually, dirty laundry just stops there because you just wait for a response on Instagram and be like, yeah, F the guy. Okay. F him, F her, right? Okay. But the correct thing to do is to actually have a conversation about it because otherwise, how is anything going to get resolved? Unless right, right. you like to live in a state of unresolved issues. Ah, then that one, that one, you, you happy, happy, ah. The, happy, happy, the crazy ah. twist is that actually no, a lot of people like oh. no matter how guilty that person is the minute you do add, you do air your dirty laundry you are the one guilty of it that's basically it okay you, man so I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the people listening to this right and okay. then you, you have to help walk us through I this I want names first okay I want so, specific names no, and situations I, I, I don't know, from, I don't know from names. that one no no I, okay like <laughs> when we talk about sitting down and like talking about the problems and all that right what if I say oh but Mingha I'm you um, I'm I'm like, I'm not a confrontational person. Well, you're telling yourself a lie. Why, why, why? Airing dirty laundry is freaking confrontational. It's not. I just, I just want to, I don't have to talk to the person, ma. What's the difference? You blow someone's head off close range and use a sniper. Oh, shit. What the hell? I think a lot of people like to use that excuse, right? The sniper is the same thing, right? I'm not confrontational. He don't know you shoot him, ma. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's just check, check, boom, right? He still die. Non-confrontational ass clown. Sorry, who is this? Is this a real person? No, just every oh, kid on the block who tells right, you right, I right. will only post up angry tweets because I will never talk to the person about it. But everyone knows who you're talking about. That's yeah, the whole that's reason the of dirty part. laundry, yeah, right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. your friends will know. Mm. Your friends will tell their friends mm. who knows mm, the further. Mm, mm. your, your outcome is the same. Mm. Even better, your outcome is worse because people don't know how to solve the fact that you don't want to talk. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I love and that. And there's also a, a point a point of time where there's a lot of people who would like, especially for younger people, they're also interconnected, right? Yeah. It's gonna leak to the person eventually, even if you don't. Like you know somehow or yeah. rather it's gonna go. You know what's the yeah. best part, right? M- majority of the time, the only time dirty laundry will be at is there is common friends. If you are removed and your problem is removed from another circle in life. <laughs> There is so much less lesser times that I will hear my friends talking about a removed twice cousin in their life doing something bad. Yeah. It was more often that you're talking about a mutual friend who did something bad. That's the crazy part of it. So to say that it's non-confrontational and to say that it's, oh, I didn't mean anything about it. Sure, then tell me about your twice removed cousin that I don't care about. Lah. Why aren't it's you true. doing it? It's true. You know, like, why, why aren't you doing that? I mean, I'm not to say that no one does it at all. Sure, there are some people who are very removed and their social media is the only safe place to yes. talk about their family. But, but realistically, more often than not, people do it just to be hurt, right? I and I think not. that maybe that's maybe that's where we want to end or like land mm. on today's podcast. It isn't the fact that, yeah, it's you can have mixed opinions about whether it's right, whether it's wrong, how far is too far, what's the boundary, what's the line, mm. how do you categorize it? But at the end of the day, right, when it all comes down to the human behavior of why people do it, is that they want to be asked if they're okay. They want to have that conversation. Someone needs to respond to them for them to feel good. And that's why they do it, right? And so maybe that's our challenge for all of you guys today. If you know someone who has been airing the dirty laundry a lot on social media, on like, you know, just, just yeah, social media usually. Ask. Maybe ask in private. Ask them. Lah. Ask them, yeah. Hey, are you all right? Do you want to talk about it? Yeah. You may not want to share immediately, but the fact that you reached out to ask them, I feel that goes a long way. Right. What, what do you mean by what if the person doesn't want to respond, Jeremy? So, so sometimes, mm. you know, we, we, talk, we, we said a lot about reaching out to the party that is grievancing you, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's bringing you grievances. Yeah. Yes. But sometimes Sorry. there are cases, you know, where the party does not want to Yeah, a respond. lot of people like that, I feel. Yeah. And when, like, say for example, if they're airing a dirty laundry about their employer, for example, but their management does not want to resolve the issue. Yes. Right. Then there are times where you have to probably just ignore and let go or, I you mean, know, as much as I bitch about all these kind of things, right? At the end of the day, you don't do you do la. I mean, no one's stopping you. I just have to. We can agree to disagree about whether it's the right thing to do or not, but the whole intention behind it is not positive at all, and that's why I'm I, I don't I don't like right. So if you don't talk about your boss, you don't talk about your management, you don't talk about your friend, you don't talk about your family. Honestly, your problem la. But is it a good look? Eh, does it solve anything? Family wise, I don't think so. Again. I said before, there are some circumstances like management and stuff like that where you feel powerless in a situation where you feel like there's nothing else to do and the only thing that you have and can do is mm. bring up social justice mm. or social awareness to uh, injustice. I understand it. 
And most of the time, this is not dirty laundry, you know. This is like an agreed upon, upon thing between a whole department against a, a, a horrible management, right? So he said that's the difference. The social, dirt, the social dirty laundry that people usually air is one-on-one problem between someone and someone. Yeah. Compared and it doesn't like, make you look good. It's, it is not. It really Because does, it's uh, your biased opinion, right? Compared to like what you said, a management and people bitching about the boss. And then got like a whole bunch of them is like, yeah, we don't know what to do with this person. And HR doesn't want to do anything about it. Mm. Different, different cases. Again, see, the whole, the whole thing that makes all this grey is context. Like, your context of you saying something is different than that person saying something. And without context, this all is just horrible and should not be, should not, you should not gain validation on something with no context and it's just biased to your story. That's, that's all. That's, yeah. that's a freaking horrible way to do it. I think my final word to people who do often hey. post up about your, your issues in life, I, I, as much as we are saying that we don't agree with it, again, like Mehan said, you live your life, do your own thing. But here's my um, friendly advice. Maybe talk to somebody who can Try actually, talking, uh, maybe yeah. talk to someone who actually cares. Because I feel like putting up on Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that, yeah. It's falling on ears who actually don't do you anything. They want to hear more. Yeah. Right? So like maybe use all of that, channel it to the correct areas, avenues that people who are willing to help you, who want to help you, who are not just there for like an entertainment. Because that's what it is at the end of the day for people yeah. who listen. It's just entertainment. Like I, I'm watching a drama unfold. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reach out my hand to extend. I just want to see how this happens, right? But maybe there are people around you who actually care about your well-being, whether you're okay, whether you're not okay. And I think those are people who actually deserve hearing the story rather than just putting it up on social media for people who actually don't care about you. Yeah. You will know it, one. You yeah. will know something that's dirty laundry compared to like someone complaining about their grab rider or like yeah. a bad grab delivery. When 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 someone airs their dirty laundry, you will feel that like, hey, you're you, supposed to be yeah. saying this. You'll know, yes, hey, yes, why, yes. why are you talking about this? And you yeah. will know. And and you will see like, who is the one like, yeah, yeah. or you know, who and the worst part the about time. this whole thing is that there's always going to be a someone who's excited to stir the fire. Oh, even of worse. course. And yeah. because it's so public, right? Yeah. There, there are Dude, people who will probably want to just tune in just to I literally, get something. I literally have heard people say in front of my face, I love gossip. I love drama. And they will do it. And they will pursue it. So, whether or not you guys believe that there are no people like this one, how can be so bad? Oh, trust me. Some people thrive. Some people thrive off these kind of things. And that's the danger, right? You just need an entry point into the dirty laundry and someone just needs to encourage you. And then you're fighting a battle it's you don't have to win. Merry Christmas. All day long. Ah, what a conversation. I think there's still so many angles that we need to consider, but I don't know. I feel like there's really just one um, underlying at the end of the day just have a conversation with normal yeah, people don't make it get to court like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard don't, don't do it man my goodness don't do it uh, you talk lah guys it's so easy it's so easy to, to try and figure out something uh, the only thing I mean and, and no matter what you say lah dirty laundry is never the, the way to do something <laughs> right there's always a proper way to do something and guys I'm specifically talking about uh, relational things 1% to 1% I'm not talking about social injustices yeah. oh yeah they're all things, different Please uh, just know, yeah. la, okay? And you were like, oh, but how do you know the difference? Oh, you will know the difference. Yeah. I think when you see- Like for know, example, like if, if you're complaining about, oh, my, my partner snore them loud, you tell people, people do what? What, what, yeah, what, what yeah. do? Unless you, it's a different thing. Like, hey guys, do you have any recommendations for someone who snores a lot? That's different. Angle. See? <laughs> what, Chao Goku, he, he snore them loud, I cannot sleep. Then, then what you, what you mean do? Like, it's like, Seek I help gonna, in the correct places. I was going to do an example. No, no, I, no. I, I think, yeah, it's <laughs> good. It's good. This week's song recommendation is a brand new one by our local friends, oh. Resort. This one's called Better Than Lying. It sounds like this. It's a pretty good song. Yep. It's quite fun. You guys should check that out. It's available on Spotify and Apple Music. Also, mm-hmm. We, if you want to get caught up with all our latest episodes, we're on Spotify and Apple Music as well. Oh. And YouTube. If you're not watching this on YouTube, you're missing out because this is the last time we are shooting in this set. It sounds, it sounds like a big thing and it is a big thing. Bye-bye. Uh, Table Talk is officially coming to a close after 151 episodes. We're done. We're calling it a day. Huh? Uh, we're, we're calling it a day. We're, okay. we're done already. We're, well, we're, we're just tired. 
It is um, what it is. But if you guys want to still hear our voices and maybe make some friends with us, we're on discord.gg slash the takeaway table. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, now that as we're stepping out of the podcast scene, uh, there's only one thing to, left to do. <laughs> Tell you guys that we'll see you next week because we're coming back again. See you, bye. <laughs> 